What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Noah, man. We back with another video, man. Y'all already see the title of the video, so let's get straight to it, man. I'm about to go head over to the gym, about to get some shots up, man. You know, I'm feeling a little inspired to play some basketball today, because you see the title of the video, man. So I gotta go ahead and hoop, go get this workout in, and then we gonna get right into this video, man. Let's go. All right, so we just got back from the gym, had a calm little basketball workout. I'm not gonna lie, it was not the best, but afterwards, some dudes in the gym was talking about let's run some two ball. If you know, you know. If you don't, you woke. It's not two on two, it's two ball. But play real good in two ball, so that was cool. Definitely gave him the work. But now it's time to run a shower, cause your boy was sweating, man. So I'm about to get this shower, and then I'm gonna catch y'all right after. Let's go. All right, so we done with the shower. And now we about to go ahead and head over to GNC. I gotta go pick up some things. I ordered something yesterday. Yo, listen to this. I ordered something yesterday from their website. And what, whoa, 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 how? All right, but boom. I order the stuff from the website and I do in-store pickup. They give me like 5% off. I get it the same exact day, supposedly. I said, wait two hours and then go pick it up. Boom, I wait two hours and 15 minutes. I go over, I go to the store, walk in. Hey, I ordered this and that and this and that. Oh, we don't have it, you should come tomorrow. What? I, I, I did the same day in-store pickup for the exact reason. Otherwise, I just would've ordered it online. But, man, it's okay, man. We about to go head over right now and we will see what I got. All right, and we are back with the GNC pickup, baby. Let's go, man. So look, I'm about to show y'all what I got, man. <laughs> we got the Fruity Pebbles protein powder. Boom! That one is like 70 something servings in it. And then we got the Cocoa Pebbles protein powder, man. That's another 77, 70 something servings. And then also, we got the Breast Cancer Awareness Shaker Cup, man. I need a new shaker cup real bad because all of mine broke. I keep dropping them all the time. And then they just be cracking at the bottom and leaking water everywhere. But we about to go ahead and test these out as well. I'm going to test out one right now. I think I'm going to go with the Fruity Pebbles, I think. So we're going to go ahead and check that out right now. All right, so we got the almond milk in the cup. We about to bust this open real fast, man. Oh. Boom, boom. About to go ahead and try this, baby. Oh, man. I'm excited, man. Mmm. This will work out in its own. Just opening this thing, man. Cut. I'm just glad they didn't play me today because yesterday when they did that, oh, man, I was so tight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on, man. This is a lot. This is so much protein powder. Like, I've never seen so much in my life. Oh my goodness, this is a thick scoop. So we're gonna go ahead and boom, boom. All right, we're gonna mix it up in a new shaker cup. Yes, I did wash it before I'm using it because that's kind of nasty if you don't. Oh, how is it leaking and I just bought it? Oh yeah, yo, that is crazy. That actually tastes just like you know, instead of Fruity Pebbles, it tastes just like Fruit Loops, like exactly like Fruit Loops. And that's crazy. Like Fruit Loops is gas. All right, so that's gonna conclude the taste test of the Fruity Pebbles protein powder. It should be the Fruit Loops protein powder, but look, that is some gas right there. I'll give that a 10 out of 10, no kidding. But now we about to go ahead, hop in a whip, head on over to this Team USA basketball game. I am excited, man. Hopefully y'all are just as excited as me. They're playing against the Bahamas team, and this is pretty America qualifying. So I'm ready to go ahead and go watch this. They got some good NBA players up in there, some good professional players. So I'm so excited, man. Let's go now. Whoa, I, I did not expect that thing to follow me, bro. What the world? We have made it to the parking garage for the facility of the Team USA basketball game tonight against the Bahamas. I'm so excited for this game. 
it was a cool little drive over here but i'm not gonna lie i think i ran a couple lights bro like they were in such strange positions i hope not bro if so man i'm probably even gonna have to do Ugh. i hope not man that's all i'm saying but look we about to go ahead and walk on over to the arena and i got here a little bit early so i can get some clips of the warm-ups because i love watching basketball warm-ups man i love warming up getting ready for a game myself so you know and, and you know you get to see a little bit of show time and the dunks and whatnot and see how players work out before they start a game so it's really cool to watch and you know you can always add stuff to your own routine before you play a game that's what i like to do but enough of me talking man let's go head over to the arena let's go man let's go my big question right now is Am I tweaking for wearing shorts to the game? I want it to be comfortable and whatnot, but I got a long walk outside over to the arena. So I'm freezing right now, but I do got on a sweatshirt. So does that equal out or am I tweaking? So I just got to the arena. I'm watching a little bit of these warm-ups now. The light blue team is the Bahamas team and the white and blue and red obviously Team USA. So some cool players that I get to watch tonight at this game include Robert Covington, Tony Snell, Nate Hinton, Frank Kaminsky, Malik Williams. So I'm pretty excited for that. I don't really know nobody on the Bahamas team, but obviously they must be pretty good. These is both FIBA national teams, so it's pretty crazy. This is for the America qualifiers. So it's a pretty big deal. Also, I decided to sit up top rather than down there. I usually sit down there when I come to this arena, but tonight I wanted to get a lot of like decent looking film. So I decided to sit up top and right now, it's looking pretty fine. So I'm not too mad. Let's get into it, man. Let's go. So for the second half of the game, we're going to switch up the seats, getting a little bit closer with it.
man, so that's gonna do it for the Team USA FIBA game versus the Bahamas. It was a sick game. I didn't even mention Eric Gordon is also on the Bahamas team, so that's pretty sick to see him as well. And moved a little bit closer for the second half of the game. Just wanted to switch it up a little bit, get some different shots. But yeah, it was an overall very, very fun game to watch. Very sick. And got to see some of the dopest players who have played in the NBA. So I was really excited to see that. And I've never been to a Team USA game. I've never been to a FIBA basketball game. So all of that was just super sick to see. And we are back in the car. I'm about to get back to the crib. But that went out a snack. I got to stop at the gas station, man. What's the best snack combo? at the gas station man comment down below i'm trying to hear y'all answers man that's gonna do it for this video man make sure y'all check out the rest of the videos man binge watch all of them joints and let me know some ideas of what you want to see down in the comments down below so i can bring those videos to you guys and other than that man it's been your boy noah i'm gonna catch you on the next video man peace